Today, we're talking about AFCIs versus GFCIs. So this is an AFCI. You'll note they look very similar to a GFCI. They also have the reset and test button. Usually, if you look closely at the device, it actually says AFCI on the device. An AFCI receptacle, uh, this one rated for 15 amps, 120 volts. It's currently $22 at Lowe's at the time I recorded this video. And just a quick disclaimer, this video is not a paid promotion for Lowe's or any other vendor, make, model, brand, etc. Now, AFCI receptacles provide protection against unseen arc faults that can result in electrical fires. So say there's a loose wire connection somewhere in the wall, maybe where the wires are twisted together and a wire nut in a J box that's come loose and those wires are moving around or arcing, creating heat or a spark. This device will detect that arc and shut the power off. They also provide protection from arc faults beyond branch circuit wiring, extending to appliances and cords that are plugged into this AFCI. So that's really great. Uh, current NEC requirements. Uh, these need to be installed in finished basements, bedrooms, common rooms, hallways and closets, kitchens, laundry areas. This is an AFCI circuit breaker. Uh, looks fairly similar in size and shape to a standard breaker. This breaker, however, is actually a combination AFCI breaker. Wow. So they call these a CAFCI circuit breaker. Rated for 15 amps, 120 volts, $59 at Lowe's. There's a part number if you have the home light uh, square D circuit breaker panel in your home. These AFCI circuit breakers, again, provide protection against unseen arc faults that can result in electrical fires. The National Electric Code, or NEC, again, requires these AFCIs to be installed in bathrooms, garages, unfinished basements. Uh, areas defined as non-living spaces are among the few exceptions. So the NEC also requires the installation of AFCIs in existing homes whenever an addition, an extra circuit, or even an extra outlet is added. So if you're going to do some remodeling work in your home or in your facility, uh, just keep that in mind. You're probably going to need to upgrade. Uh, if you're changing a breaker or a receptacle, you may need to upgrade it to a GFCI or an AFCI to meet code. And here's what a standard GFCI receptacle looks like. Again, they have the test and reset buttons there. This one's rated for 15 amps, 125 volts AC, uh, $20 at Lowe's. Now, a ground fault circuit interrupter helps protect against shock by constantly monitoring the current flow through a circuit. If the current flowing into the circuit differs by a very small amount, as little as 0 0.006 amps, from the returning current, the GFCI device interrupts power faster than a blink of an eye to prevent a lethal dose of electricity. So these aren't looking for arcs. Arc fault circuit interrupters are looking for arcs. GFCIs are basically monitoring the current and looking for a difference of 0 0.006 amps from the returning current. That's the difference. Uh, installing GFCI's uh, outlets in all wet or damp locations like kitchens, bathrooms, laundry rooms, basements, on the exterior of your building are required to meet the NEC. This is a, a, a GFCI circuit breaker and you can see it actually says GFCI on the breaker itself. This one's rated for 15 amps, 120 volts. And it's $45.57 at Lowe's currently. 
And again, GFCI circuit breakers are an effective means of preventing severe electric shock or electrocution from ground faults. To protect equipment from damaging ground faults, GFCIs monitor the difference in current between the hot and neutral conductors. The 2020 NEC states that GFCI protection is required for wet, damp, outdoor, or in dirt confinement areas for livestock. So again, think bathrooms, kitchens, laundry rooms, anywhere near, near water, faucets, etc. Outdoors. If you're near a swimming pool, if you're near a water feature, uh, you know, uh, plugging in a, uh, a water cooler, uh, drinking fountain, etc. Now they also make these combination AFCI and GFCIs. So this is a really great device. Uh, this one's manufactured by Leviton. There's a part number. This one happens to be $30, six cents on amazon.com. But you can see it has a test and reset button. And it actually says on the device, AFCI slash GFCI. So this device does both things. So that's really great. Last device I want to introduce you to on this video is this 18 inch long inline GFCI cord. Rated for 15 amps, 120 volt AC, uh, 12 gauge wire, uh, $26.08 at Home Depot currently. And again, just like any other GFCI, it has a reset button and a test button and a little LED status light. So you would use this on a construction site if you're going out camping, um, if you're going somewhere where you can't have access to a GFCI, but you may be working outdoors or near a water source, this is a great way to plug this into a standard outlet and essentially turn that standard outlet into a GFCI, if you will. I hope this information has helped. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.